So we got a debate going on about this new Nemophilus song. I want to see your guys' thoughts on it. It's it's a very mixed song for me. I'm going to read this article. We're going to talk about how we feel about the song. I know we all did reactions uh, to it, or we did it by the end of it. But I, I'm going to shut up. Let me just read a news article first. <laughs> so <laughs> Nemophilus shines wave thanks you. <laughs> uh, on Ray of Light video holds first U.S. show. And... I'm going to be trying to go to the Whiskey Go-Go. Uh, this is what this article is about. And they're also playing an Aftershock. So I think they might be playing more dates, but I'm not sure yet. So Japan's hot as hell all girls rock band releases single Array of Light on May 11th. The new track kicks off what could be a big year for a heavy metal quintet uh, as they also announced their first U.S. show this July. And that will be at the Whiskey Go-Go. And so a lot of people said like the sound was upgraded. This is where I'm not on, not agree in agreement with, but uh, <laughs> new look unlocked. Uh, the new song starts with the lead singer Mayo powerful screams, and suddenly she transitions into a clean melodic tone for the chorus. You guys should check out the song if you're listening to this from the podcast. Um, that clash of the style would be a brutal for any other vocalist, but Mayo handles it with ease. All the while, the guitarist Suzuki and Saki effortlessly hammer on some awesomely heavy wrists. Moreover, the rhythm mix demonstrate expertise even more in their 2020 debut. Um, is it called Oran? I always pronounce it weird. But yeah, yeah so yeah. that music video did drop. Awesome. If you haven't seen it yet, you're weird. Go watch it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> now, I'll say this. Um, I had a, like my first initial reaction. Um... I don't know, man. Like the the kick and bass was very, very uh, low, very low, very, very in the back, and I feel like it would have had more oomph. I guess I was expecting heavy and hard because of the sample we checked out here. So I went into the reaction with a whole other idea of how the song was going to start. So I think what happened to me was I heard it and was like, oh, it's uh, which is awesome. It's a heartfelt song. It's really good. And then that's why afterwards, I when I listened to it again. I had to look at it. I had to think about it because I went in thinking it was going to be heavy and like, you know, in your face. And it still is in your face. But the bass really lacked for me in that whole thing, the kick and the bass. But I'll say this. Mayu showed off her vocal performance for sure. There were so many different examples of dynamics that she pulled off that was very impressive when I went back and listened to it a few more times. So that being said, it was really a heartfelt song by her, I think. And those screams added to the heartfelt um, feeling of it with the cleans, the different styles of cleans too. It was like at least four different clean vocals that I could make out when I was listening to it. Very That's my thoughts on it. I just... I hate even saying this because people are going to fucking be like, why are you talking about the mix? <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't a fan of That's the mix. Thing, low. I just, the low end, like the low ends weren't really, like the dynamics of the mix was really lacking for me. Like there's no breathing room. It was hard to feel that, but you could feel her vocals. I'll say that. The vocals were, were good. They did a, did a great job with the vocals and the guitars. But yeah, that's my thoughts. You go away. What are your thoughts? I like how they blended the electronic elements with with the guitars, the heavy guitars and stuff, but I think that might be part of why the bass was so low because they had to make more space for the electronic elements since a lot of that sat in the bass area, you know? Mm-hmm. Which, yeah. it's an interesting choice for a band that's more focused on metal and screaming because, uh, you know, they'll have to have that backing track for live. But I I thought it was a cool blend of sounds. I really liked the guitars playing off of each other. Like there was a lot of riffing going on during the verses that I thought was really cool. But I heard it on like Monday, so it's been a while. It's not fresh in my ears right now. I disagree entirely with everything Alan just said. Uh, <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do this. Love you, man. Uh, <laughs> but here here's here's why. I feel like the mix while. I, I specifically use the word muddy in, in my reaction to it during the verses, mostly, because I do feel like um, it is like when it comes to the mix, it definitely sounds cluttered. Uh, it's like, especially in the verses, it sounds like it's really hard to differentiate what's going on from instrument to instrument until you get to the chorus. And then it kind of frees up a little bit. I don't but get how I you disagree. Got the, 
<laughs> Wait, yeah. it sounds like because agreeing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna, oh, okay. I'm, I agree with, I agree with what you're saying about it, but I disagree that it's a bad thing, and I'll tell you why. I, didn't I say think it was, that it's just not my thing. I don't know. Well, it was a negative. Yeah. You, you considered yeah. it a negative, right? Yeah. So, I, I mean, the way that I view that is the muddier and the more cluttered that that verse sounds, with her banshee screaming over it the more of that release that we get when the chorus comes and everything frees up, everything slows down. You can hear the guitar lead come in nicely uh, during the chorus. And then she starts singing the clean. And to me, the differentiation between that verse leading into that chorus made the chorus feel more satisfying to me. And I don't think it would have if, if the verse had been a little bit more open or a little bit less uh, cluttered sounding. Now, that being said, if I'm going to look at that verse by itself without anything else around it, I'm probably going to say the same thing. Uh, I don't really like it that much because it's not really, but because of where it led, I felt really good about it, honestly. So, you know, different takes on the same, uh, on the same idea. Somebody mentioned this too. They said it could be just compression with YouTube on it. But I mean, when I heard dissension, you know, it, I didn't get that those vibes and wave is right. When you have electronics, it definitely adds a whole nother element. But we have K-pop and J-pop bands that have meshed the two very well. Also, you know, that I think they should have maybe brought another engineer in to kind of help with that, you know, because when you're going from rock and metal mixes and then you start adding in keyboards and electronics, it is a whole other beast. This is why sometimes when I do mixes, I have a specific person mix a certain sound for me because I'm like, I could either spend all my time doing that or I could do what I'm an expert at. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just one guy trying to uh, make it all fit together. Could and be. were there but, electronics but the thing going is, through the whole thing? I don't think there was. I, see, I didn't. I really only noticed in the beginning. It was. And, yeah, and I didn't notice end. a lot of it. But even let's say there wasn't any in there. I mean, I, I don't know. Like I said, the song was good, though. It was a good song. It's just not a song I would listen to, to be honest. It was just uh, it was OK. It was okay. That's, um, that's the, fair. I feel like it just, maybe it got comp- compressed too much uh, when it did go into the music video. Maybe I got to listen to the CD version. I don't know. But at the same time, you shouldn't have to do that either. Um, that's no, I'm a big I doubt fan. it. I, um, yeah, well, I think we that, listen to is on YouTube, you know? Yeah, yeah I think like, if you, you got to make it good like on it every mixed, platform. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think it's going to get better if you listen to it on a on a like I think if you don't like how it's how it's constructed now, you're probably I, not going to like I it. I disagree cuz I did um take the recording. Well, not disagree. Like you can make it sound better if you have enhanced bass headphones. Yeah, you can put up the bass and, and then you're like, oh, "Okay, <laughs> I enjoyed it more <laughs> when I enhanced that, the bass." That's true. That's true. <laughs> what was what was Ryan saying that one time? He was shitting all over us for using the default settings on our radios back in the day. He was like, "No, dude, you got to change it for every single song." Fuck that. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a lot of work. That. That's a lot of what fucking work. What is this work. Game of Thrones? That's why Thrones use seven? studio monitors so they have a good flat, flat response. Mix. Yeah, you have flat response. Yeah, somebody was saying on the live reaction, they were like, oh, it's your headphones. I'm like, dude, these are mixing headphones. <laughs> they're, they're flat response. It's very, it's flat. Like there's, mm-hmm. and they're probably mm-hmm. right. If I checked out that music video in my car, I might have been like, oh, you know, into it. So it all depends. It could have been just, I was listening on flat response headphones, but um, I like doing that because I can hear more of the mix. I can hear like all the guitar leads yeah. and mm-hmm. everything. And there was some cool stuff with the leads, but Honestly, what it is, it's stuff I've kind of heard before. I do, 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 do. Like I've heard those melodies before hashed out in other songs and not yes. that's everything gets repeated. I know people, you know, you'll hear the same stuff all the time, but um, it wasn't as special for me as other songs. And I still love them fella either way, but it was just mm-hmm. probably not the one I'll listen to the most. That's all. So I agree with you there. Like when for me, the most exciting part of listening to Nemophila was when I heard hypnosis because it was such a different sound style for them, you know, using mm-hmm. more Middle song. Eastern scales. Yeah. And it's just, mm-hmm. it was really cool and experimental. So, yeah. like, it definitely, it's going to be hard to top that for me. Is that the one that you said was inspired by Aladdin? Yeah. yeah. So Is I think, that true? Yeah. Or just say or, that? <laughs> who's the bassist again? I don't know. I think we also got to remember song, I think. that we listen to a lot of music and we play a lot of music. So I feel like as people that have listened to a lot of music and play a lot of music, we're like, we get more complicated with what we like. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? Like, because because <laughs> oh, if, I, if I strip all that back, it's a good song. In general, it's a good song. 
Like, there's no denying that. It's a good song, and that's it. Rosie, yeah, what do you I think? Mean, you saw it, right? You heard it? I did not uh, do oh. this assignment. No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rosie got hired like Yeesh. 20 minutes before we went live. So. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you might have heard that's, it because uh, when Wave reacted to it. Oh, she doesn't watch your reactions, dude? What the fuck? No, I was kidding. I like I them. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I I will say like I don't think it was their best song. The you know, you know far from it from the five or six tracks I've heard, it was not my favorite song. It's probably closer to the bottom than the top. But, but like it's still to me like you know I'm giving it a seven and a half. I, like I'm still happy with it, and I do think that like the the muddiness during the verses allowed for her screaming to show off more too. Like this was of all the songs. That I've heard this was my favorite vocal showcase from Mayu, and I don't know if that would have been possible if the concentration was more on the the guitars and the drums See, during the verses. Imagine if they made the music. No, you know what? You're right. Her vocals were good, but it's just man. I wish she had those amazing, did all those amazing vocals, which she does do on other songs, like on a different song. I don't know, and it would be even fucking more phenomenal. But um, yeah. Uh, I'm sh- I'm sure that you could do that. You know, I guess it, uh, I'm not looking at it from like a perspective of what could you have done better. I'm kind of just looking at it for what it was, and I think it made me happy. You know, <laughs> like so I'm good with it. Exactly, it's a good song. That's that's what I'm yeah. saying too. I agree. It's just a good song. It's a good song, but it wasn't. Um, I had a I had a definitely a really high elevated elevated expectation from when we heard the sample. You know what I mean? I don't know what it was mm-hmm. about when we <laughs> checked out the sample. I was like. <gasps> can't wait and then i was like oh <laughs> this is not what i expected this is actually a different vibe it was completely different than what i got from the little clip for more brilliant insight like you just witnessed be sure to subscribe to gaijin guys and turn on notifications so you can be part of the live stream every sunday and also what did wave have me say you can also find us wherever you listen to podcasts you can find more exclusive content and reactions on patreon see you there